it is Wednesday today, which means that it's officially an in-office day for me. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in one of these glass encased phone booths and uh, I just finished up a call. Today's weather is so nice. I wish I were outside instead of stuck in this huge, massive office building, but I am excited because after work today, I'm gonna have a nice dinner with my boyfriend, which I feel like we haven't done in a while because work has been really busy. But yeah, this is gonna be the last full week of work before I go on a couple of trips starting from next week so i just gotta power through it working in office so far hasn't been too bad because it's only two days a week um i've also realized that i'm so much more productive when i'm here because everyone around you is working so it makes you want to work and not slack off and then of course all the free coffee and food also helps a lot so yeah it hasn't been too bad um i just realized that i get burnt out really easily <laughs> because I work so hard for two days and then by the time Thursday comes around, I just wish it were the weekend. But yeah, it's almost lunchtime. So I'm gonna grab lunch soon and uh, I just can't wait for the day to be over. weather is super nice today look at it so we want to take advantage of the sun Pika doesn't really like to walk anyways so um, I know that he likes sun bays so this is what we're doing <laughs> Good morning everyone. 
it's Saturday I'm so excited and we are in Chinatown because we're gonna have some brunch first and Andrew has a haircut in the Lower East Side an appointment at 12:30, so we just thought we'd come down here and make it a trip and because Lower East Side and Chinatown are close together it's kind of perfect and I'm craving something Asian for breakfast I'm kind of sick of like the usual eggs and toast and oatmeal so yeah always good to be back here in Chinatown so this restaurant is actually a Hong Kong diner by morning and then it turns into like a Japanese Cantonese fusion restaurant at night that opened really late it's really cool but last time we came here it wasn't like that it like didn't go through the revamp yet and they had so many more options for Cantonese breakfast and I think that because maybe a lot, not a lot of people are ordering a Cantonese breakfast they downsized their menu a lot but thankfully it still has all these essentials that I like it's also super busy in here packed to the brim and it's funny because this place doesn't have like the best online ratings but I know that it's a comfort food spot for a lot of people especially Cantonese people <sighs> the smell of Hong Kong milk tea oh my gosh it's my favorite part about coming here Pick up a new scarf from this Chinatown little street stall. It was $15, but I managed to haggle it down to $12, which is pretty good. And it's a little windy, so this was perfect. I love that it's super colorful too. And now we are waiting until Andrew's hair appointment, although there's no room in there for me to sit. Typical Manhattan barber shop. So I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and just sit a little bit while I wait for him. Give me some direction here. Wait, why are we in the toy section? I thought we were getting treats. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, there's Pika. <laughs> Pika. Pika. No, Pika. 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 <laughs> He's very excited. Yes, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Got a very colorful outfit on for our dinner and drinks tonight. Me and Andrew haven't gone out for a date in a long time because it's winter. So every time we have plans on Saturday nights or even Friday nights, I just end up canceling them because it's too cold to go outside. But the temperatures lately have actually been slightly rising and I figure it's time that I venture out and stop being such a homebody and just go out and have a fun night. So we're gonna go to Brooklyn, get some dinner and then go to a speakeasy, which we haven't done in a while. I'm wearing a vintage sweater that I haven't worn before. It's very 
purple and I love the different shades here. So yeah, let's go get on the train and head out for Brooklyn. Garlic and dill. Yum. Mm. Sauerkraut one. So good. This is like ultimate comfort food in this weather. Okay, let me try the potato and cheese. I love potato pierogies. Super creamy. Thank you. Mm. Very garlicky. We got one more dish to share. That was so yummy. Yay for trying different foods. Although I've had pierogies before, but like Ukrainian ones at this brunch place called Vaselka. A Ukrainian diner um, but yeah those were really really good and pretty affordably priced now we're gonna head to a speakeasy called Hidden Pearl it's located in the back of a ramen shop and all the cocktails are like Japanese inspired so I'm really excited I haven't tried like craft cocktails in a while and I love Asian inspired ones so let's go check it out Happy Sunday, everyone. I am currently on my laptop because I am planning our trip to Marrakesh, Morocco in three days, and I am super duper excited. It's actually a surprise gift that I'm giving Andrew for his 30th birthday this year, but we're celebrating it early because his birthday is not until March. And it's not really much of a surprise because Andrew has a way of just making me spoil surprises for him because he just wants to know so badly where we're going and he made me tell him because he also likes being in control of flight itineraries such as like checking in and picking seats so i had to tell him and we're gonna be there for a total of four days um so not long at all but it's gonna be very fun i've never been to africa at all before so this is gonna be my first trip to the continent and 
yeah, it's just gonna be so much fun. Um, we're only gonna be in Marrakesh and we primarily just want to eat, walk around, shop, and chill. We're not going to make it super jam-packed. It's gonna be more of like a treat type vacation where we take a little bit more of like a relaxed approach. This morning, me and Andrew took Pika to a coffee shop. Andrew's been really hooked onto this confetti cookie at a uh, coffee shop near us called Plant Shed. And they sell, it's like a half cafe, half uh, plant shop with flowers and stuff like that. So we went there for the cookie. I got myself a Cortado and we just people watched. And um, Pika is now knocked out over here. As you can see, he is tired just from that. I'm gonna plan Morocco, probably go to the gym for a little workout to move my body. And then um, we're still gonna go out for dinner today, but I'll probably work a little bit extra tonight um, so that my Monday tomorrow isn't as crazy. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm also gonna plan what I'm gonna wear after this. Hello, hello. I planned Marrakesh and I did a workout and we were supposed to go and watch the sunset at a park just now, but kind of lost track of time. But we're still in the area. We're in Sunset Park, Brooklyn and uh, we're heading over to this Japanese market slash like food hall called Japan Village. And we're gonna go and grab some dinner, shop around, maybe get some food for the next few days before we go on our trip. We used to have this Japanese supermarket called Sunrise Mart near us, near where we live, but it has since closed down. So I'm excited to see what I can buy at this place because I love shopping for Japanese food and Japanese desserts, stuff like that. Reserve Pilsner 